Okay, Josh, this stretch is called uh, PIR or post isometric relaxation stretch. And um, basically, we're going to start out with a real basic standard stretch, right? I'm just going to pull up, dorsiflex the foot to lengthen the calf. One, two, three, ten seconds. And when you stretch it the first time, really get a sense for um, about how far you can go, okay? Because you want to compare this to the rest of the movements that you do. Now, for the actual PIR stretch, you're going to go about one third, maybe two thirds of the way of the actual stretch you got the first time and you're going to give about 20% of your strength and push down against your hand for about 10 seconds holding your breath. One, two, three, ten. Now this is kind of important here. Before you stretch the muscle again, right after that contraction, you need to make sure that the muscle actually relaxes. So you can give it three to five seconds to relax, okay? But as soon as you get that contraction, one, two, three, ten. Okay, relax, one, two, three seconds is pretty average, and then take it to the new end range. And remember, compare to the first time you stretch. You want to try to take it a little bit further. Okay, each time you do this, you want to take it further. And then relax, about 10 seconds. Okay, then you're going to stretch one third, two thirds of the way again. One, two, three, 10 seconds, pushing down against pressure. Okay, about 20% strength. Relax, one, two, three three, nice, firm, further stretch on the calf, okay? That's PIR, and you can do this with any muscle in the body actually uh, pretty much the same way.